Good morning, students. Good morning. Today we learn something about All India Practical Examinations, 12th Standard Biology. So, uh, A A I S S C Practical Examination. A S S C means All India Senior Secondary Certificate Examination. So, All India Senior Secondary Certificate Examination only A I S S C E. It's actually a practicals. Uh, board examination actually uh, your theory paper 70 marks and the practical papers 30 marks you know about physics chemistry and biology and computer science the four subjects you have in a practical with the 30 marks for biology aspects the practical timing is three hours so three hours in the month of uh, generally in the month of January or in the month of February the practicals taking place practicals uh, plus external uh, examiner from other schools are visiting our school and conducting the all India senior secondary practical examinations ok then the timing for this practical is 3 hours and marks is 30 marks so 30 marks is divided into the following categories you should follow these categories and first one one major experiments one major experiment five marks so actually you are writing your experiment and performing the experiment in our schools uh, on the particular day the time duration is three hours you write the experiment procedure full procedure from aim to result in your exam paper the board exam paper not our school paper during practical times the board exam papers has come then with the use of board examination paper you are writing practicals all the things practicals means in the theory part of the practicals and you've done your practical also in the laboratory the first one is a major experiment major experiment means uh, i give a list of uh, what are all the major experiments and what are all the minor experiments what are all the slide preparation in the next uh, section first the major experiments you are done you are major experiment and your record observation uh, record observation your major experiment results and and write your all the procedures for the major experiment in your exam paper the particular major experiment consists of five marks and your minor experiment for four marks your minor experiment means is a lot like major it's within a half an hour you finishing your minor experiment i give a list also in the next section and for minor experiments are four marks you write a procedure for the minor experiment and then your minor experiment manually and practically and show your result to the external examiner and major experiment results also in minor experiment results also uh, results are shown to your external examiner ok then next one is slide preparation slide preparation means you are performing one slide like a mitosis or maybe pollen germination you're performing the slide and uh, submit your slide with a clean neat slide with your roll number in the right hand side and submit your slide for evaluation to the external examiner the uh, slide preparation for five mass your major experiment for five mass your minor experiment for four mass and slide preparation for five mass and spotting Spotting means uh, any one uh, microscope slide, microscopic permanent slides, or maybe specimens are kept in our, our area of our laboratory to observe your specimen and observe our slide. And according to the slide and points, uh, maybe write down in your exam paper. That is uh, spotting. Maybe spotting in the form of slides, or maybe in the form of drawings or maybe in the form of pictures or maybe in the form of slides in the microscopes so for the spotting experiment you have seven marks okay then major experiment five marks minor experiment four marks and slide preparation five marks and spotting 
seven marks so all these things write your theory part suppose major experiments you are from aim to result and minor experiment aim to result and slide preparation uh, aim to result including the drawings also and spotting also the comments of the particular spots for example uh, we given a uh, one amoeba slide write in your exam paper the given slide for identification a is amoeba proteus the amoeba the comments in the comments points uh, what uh, something about amoeba amoeba is an protozoan the scientific name is amoeba proteus so so some like about amoeba or maybe uh, any other slide no, i give example for amoeba uh, maybe any other slide or disease causing organism or maybe specimens also may be given so according to this you write all the criteria all the comments of the particular spotting so the spotting consists of seven marks the next one you are practical record notebook plus according to the record notebook the external may ask viva questions the record notebook plus viva questions four marks and the project record plus viva means five marks so already uh, we are circulating a record notebooks i give uh, how to write your exam uh, record notebook uh, what are all the points should be in the record notebook i give a uh, explanation about in the next section okay the practical record notebook you write the practical work experiments wise and uh, all the things uh, written work in the right side and in the drawing works in the left side already are known if you are write in 11th standard practicals notebook so in a uh, left side is normally consist of what all things drawings in the one side notebook only record notebook in the white page uh, white page notebook and the page is mentioned for um, drawings and table columns and right side for written work okay then the project work project work also you are uh, farming uh, or doing a uh, investigatory projects and after finishing your project you corrected with the internal examiner or your biology teacher and afterwards you spiral the particular record notebook the project notebook and in the examination time you submit your record notebook as well as in project work from the record notebook and the project work the external examiner ask some viva questions from the record and the project how you are done your project what are all the merits of your project what are all the demerits of your project uh, briefly explain your project and how this drawing is done so various viva questions are asked from practical record book plus your project record book you familiar with all the things all what are all the practicals are present in our record notebook and what uh, how the project work is done and the procedures for the project work so all this done means you are you simply get all the marks 4 plus 5 practical record plus project record plus viva four marks so totally your practical examination biology practical examination totally uh, 30 marks and 3 uh, hours time and the mass is 30 which consists of one major experiment 5 mark one minor experiment 4 mark and the slide preparation 5 marks and spotting 7 marks and practical record plus viva 4 marks and project record plus viva 5 marks total 30 marks okay so next i give uh, what are all the projects what are all the major experiments what are all the minor experiments i explain one by one okay
the first one is a major experiment so for your practical examination totally 30 marks for major experiment 5 marks if any one of major experiment come to you for your practical examination actually two practical the first practical study the effect of different temperatures or three different pH on the activity of salivary amylase on starch or isolation of DNA from available plant material such as spinach, green pea seeds, papaya etc. So according to the present situation, COVID-19 situation, uh, the CBSC is reduced your some practicals. So according to this new addition, uh, new revised curriculum syllabus, only two practicals for the major experiment. So from this two, you perform any one of your major experiment. So maybe in one batch, uh, first one is uh, maybe a major experiment, in another one batch, second one may be a major experiment. Maybe out of two, any one you get for the major experiment. Okay. The first experiment is study the effect of different temperature or three different pH. Normally we know salivary amylase are present in our saliva which is consist of uh, enzymes and it digests the starch into other simple carbohydrate like maltose and other things. So we know normally salivary amylase it digests the starch. How you perform, uh, how you prove a salivary amylase in a particular temperature only, it digests a starch. How you prove a salivary amylase in particular pH only, it digests a starch. Normally, uh, pH means you know the power of hydrogen or potentiality of hydrogen, hydrogen ion concentration in the particular liquid. pH you know, 0 to 6.9 is acidic pH. 7 neutral and 7.1 to 14 is basic pH. In salivary amylase only act in acidic pH, slightly acidic like 6.9. So in a 6.9 or in a 6.8 only the salivary amylase it digests a starch. Generally we know but how you prove with the use of experiment and so your result because you know science need evidence simple theory is not acceptable by the scientist scientist need evidence practical evidence then only the scientist accepting the theory and following the particular concepts so for this you prove salivary amylase which digests a starch in two different normally in different temperature normally salivary amylase digests starch in our body temperature suppose your body get fever your temperature your normal body temperature 37 so in 37.6 uh, in 37 degree celsius only the salivary amylase which digests the starch maybe 35 the salivary amylase is not digest the starch in 39, 40 also salivary amylase is not digest the starch. In particular proper temperature only the salivary amylase which digest the starch. How you check the particular temperature? So with the use of these experiments you take your saliva. With the use of uh, your saliva you are preparing some solution like a 20 percentage salivary solution with the use of three different uh, temperature apparatus uh, zero we bring uh, like uh, uh, ice cubes for the zero or five degree celsius and 37 degree celsius with the use of normal warm water with the use of thermometer we check the particular temperature of the particular water and with we have a water bath in our laboratory with the use of water bath we maintain the 70 degree celsius of uh, temperature water so in the three different temperature water we put the particular starch solution then the iodine solution uh, various uh, salt solution also and uh, it mixes of uh, starch only digest the particular uh, um, salivary amylase which digest the starch only in a particular temperature that is 37 we prove 
I give experiment uh, later on what all the procedures and all the things I give a small idea about a particular practicals ok. With the use of three different temperature we prove that the normal body temperature around 37 only the saliva is digested starch that is a major experiment. Another one in different pH normally pH 6.9 only the saliva is digested starch particularly salivary amylase. So, we take a three different pH solution like pH 4 solution, pH uh, 6 or 7 solution and pH 9 solution with the use of three different pH solution in a pH 7 only the saliva is digestive starch we prove. So, I give a elaborate idea about this practical step by with the materials required in later classes. I give a brief idea about the first experiment ok. With the use of experiment we prove the particular uh, result and you write all the things like from aim to result in your paper and maybe an uh, external examiner come to your place and ask some viva questions or uh, maybe ask some questions related to the particular practical ok. Then the first practical in the second batch if another one batch maybe uh, receiving the paper which isolation of DNA from available plants material isolationing of DNA. So, DNA normally a simple thing uh, small uh, sub microscopic thing with the use of ethanol some other experiment uh, with the use of um, uh, spinach like uh, kerala you know, some variety green peas um, green peas patani or uh, maybe papaya or uh, maybe banana uh, all the plants which contain cells all the cells which contain nucleus maybe except the prokaryotes all the cells which contain DNA conform except to some viruses all the cells contain DNA. So, with the use of some experiment we isolating the DNA not exact DNA with the protein molecules ok. Isolating the DNA from with the use of pestle, mortar and so some procedures are there after the procedure with the use of chilled ethanol, ethyl alcohol you know then uh, surgical spirit or ethyl alcohol with the use of chilled ethanol we separating the DNA from the particular solution and show your DNA a particular in the plant DNA to the external examination examiner and external examiner ask some questions related to the particular practicals ok. So, major experiment only two practicals a different pH and different temperature check the salivary amylase activity and isolation of DNA from the uh, some materials ok. This is actually a major experiment for 5 marks. So, next one is minor experiment. For minor experiment, 4 marks you are done your practicals for minor experiment. So, only 2 practicals in a minor experiment. One is collect and study the soil from 2 different sites. Do different soil means maybe black soil, red soil, or maybe mountain soil, clay soil. You collect 2 different soil around you and study the soil structure the size of the particles and the moisture content of the soil and the pH of the soil. So, what pH the soil has and the water holding capacity of the soil with the use of some pH papers available in our laboratory uh, we dissolve the soil in a distilled water and after that we check the pH of the particular soil. And moisture content means normally in the garden soil which contain more moisture content the water content then only its plants will normally grow well in a garden soil 
then other may be soil may be some sandy soil may be some water content is less according to this you collect two different uh, soil samples from uh, your place and texture of this particular soil studied may be clay soil as texture as very fine particles uh, like moisture content you check with the use of your soil may be your soil a for example contain more moisture b contain less moisture according to your experiment you check the moisture content and ph of the soil i give explanation about the practicals and the theory all the parts in the next section i give a small idea about the practical practicals what are all the practicals you have then water holding capacity of the soil water holding capacity means normally the soil holds some amount of water with the use of funnel then measuring cylinder you pour our water in the soil so some amount of water is retained in the soil the remaining is poured out so with the use of some experiment with the calculation how uh, some normally you prove how the particular soil absorbs water how much of water is holded by the soil how much of water is retained in the soil so with the use of some experiments and calculation you have done this experiment water holding capacity of the particle if in uh, normally two batches maybe three batches also according to your strength in one batch con confirm minor experiment collect and study the soil from two different sites and another one batch confirm uh, minor experiment collect water from two different water bodies two different water bodies you collect from pond water and sea water a lake water or maybe bore water if any one water from your locality you collect two water samples with the use of samples you check the ph of the particular water sample and clarity of the particular water sample presence of any living organisms if any microbes with the use of slide you observe the particular uh, water in your microscope compound microscope if any amoeba paramecium or any other microorganisms or any other macro organisms are present inside the water which check so for this experiment you collect two different water bodies and with the use of water bodies are uh, water th things uh, with the use of ph paper you check the ph of the particular water and clarity of the particular water a turbid clear some like and the presence of any living organisms any living microbes or macrobes or maybe insects like euglena paramecium or maybe some taphnia some insects also present in the pond water so with the use of these experiments you uh, check Uh, two different water bodies okay the first one is mine experiment to check uh, two different soil samples and the second one is two different water bodies okay this is actually a mine experiment we done this act experiment in your laboratory then afterwards you observe uh, all the things in the microscope and show to your result to your external examination ex external examiner and for this minor experiment we have uh, four marks you get four marks okay for your slide preparation the next one is major experiment over then minor experiment also over the next one is slide preparation for your slide preparation also only two practicals so for first practical for the slide preparation to prepare a temporary mount to absorb the pollen germination normally you know the pollen grain is produced from anther the pollen grain contain the male gametes like vegetative and generative cell you observe a temporary amount of pollen germination 
for uh, only two practicals in the slide preparation you uh, uh, form a slide you take a flower or maybe hibiscus or vinca rosea or any other matured flower and uh, you prepare a nutrient solution which contains some boric acid and sucrose and inositol all the things with the use of solution uh, you take a slide normal uh, permanent uh, temporary slide and uh, add a few drops of solution the nutrient solution and dusting the pollen grain in the particular solution and put cover slip with the use of uh, needle without any air bubbles and observe the slide with the pollen grain under the microscope so normally after 5 to 10 minutes the pollen grains germinated with the use of nutrient they take and germinates the pollen tube it forms the pollen tube so you observe your pollen germination in the your normal compound microscope and afterwards you write your roll number uh, class and submit to your slide cleaned slide uh, thoroughly clean your slide afterwards you submit your slide for external examiner for evaluation the external examiner uh, may be evaluate your slide according to the slide performance and the slide clarity and the pollen tube formation the external examiner give allotted marks plus write your uh, aim procedure how you prepare a nutrient solution all the things in your exam paper so even major experiment minor experiment slide preparation also you write all the procedures in your exam paper also and and perform your experiment in the uh, laboratory also so with all the things within the three hours okay then the second experiment prepare a temporary amount of onion root tip and study mitosis normally you study mitosis in your 11th standard normally cell division is two types mitosis and meiosis mitosis means one cell divided into two cells it performed in somatic cells so normally cell division occurs in the meristematic region we know so for this experiment you take onion and grow onion in the house or maybe in your classroom and in your laboratory for one week then normally it's onion bottom it's produce roots you take the tip of the roots with the use of scissors and with the use of fixative you fix the particular uh, root tip and the cell division fixative means nothing but some formalin maybe F, uh, FAA something uh, glazyl acetic acid some chemicals so after that uh, you take a uh, particular uh, fixed and the root tip in your slide and uh, add acetocarmine or maybe hematocyl in some stain like saffron in like stain and after adding you uh, under the high power of microscope normally low power chromosomes is not visible in high power you observe the slide and uh, the micro chromosome movement like prophase metaphase anaphase telophase all the mitosis stage are maybe visible so visible above afterwards you submit to your slide for the evaluation to the external examiner according to your slide and the views maybe in uh, the particular practical maybe external examiner uh, come to your place and ask to show uh, which is mitosis or uh, which one is prophase which one is metaphase something like ask so particularly you show the particular metaphase stage or prophase stage or telophase stage according to this the marks will be given so slide preparation for slide preparation normally slide preparation for 5 marks so our slide preparation marks is 5 so any one of your uh, uh, classmates one for one batch another one for another one batch if we if any one maybe your batch so for slide preparation you got totally 5 marks okay then next one is spotting so spotting is 7 marks so spotting 7 marks is various experiments in the spotting like your uh, slide like uh, ts of testis and ts of ovary like slides uh, we keep the permanent slides of testis transfer section in the permanent microscope compound microscope you observe the slide a given slide a for identification is ts of testis and the points related to the testis right and 
TS of ovary also. I give a list to your WhatsApp mobile number, WhatsApp group. So all the lists may be, may be actually in your uh, practical uh, curriculum, like your uh, revised CBSE curriculum. So the same only. Then onion bud cells, TS of blastula like blastocyst, the zygote embryo development, some stages in the slides, uh, some uh, spotting are available. So you choose, uh, we choose any three spotting from this experiment. Uh, for spotting you got seven marks, right, you observe the spotting or observe your slide and write all the things in the spot, in your exam paper. Okay, that is 7 mass. Then next one is practical record plus viva and project record plus viva. I give a, a idea about how you write your practical examination and how you perform your practical uh, notes and plus and project work in the latter sections. Okay, this is a simple idea about your practicals. You got only 30 marks for your practical and 30 marks major experiment, minor experiment and slide preparation and spotting and practical record plus viva and project record plus viva. So, totally 30 marks remaining 70 marks for your theory examination and time is 3 hours for your practical examination. Okay? I give an idea about uh, how you write in your record notebook, what are the practicals. This is actually I give a list of practicals. Afterwards, I told something about how you write, how what are the pens and the next section. Okay. Afterwards, you write your practical notebook until wait. Okay.